welcome to this online yoga class. My name is Natalie. I will lead you through a 45 minute Vinyasa flow yoga class uh, targeted at beginners and intermediate students. We will also focus on the shoulders today. Uh, we'll do poses for all parts of the body with a lot of um, poses focusing on the shoulders. Let's start, come and sit on your mat, or maybe on a block. Sit up tall, lengthen through the spine, through the crown of your head upwards. Relax your shoulders, relax your legs. And start to bring all your attention to your breath. Making your in and exhalations a little bit longer and deeper. Breathing in and out through the nose. Starting to practice Ujjayi breath. If you're not familiar with this type of breathing, just focus on breathing in and out through your nose. If you're familiar with it, tighten the back of the throat a little bit, sucking in the air through your windpipe, creating a hissing sound, warming up your body faster, and relaxing the mind because the sound is louder than your thoughts. And start to lift your pelvic floor muscles and pull in the lower abdominals, which are called your Mula and Uddiyana Bandha in yoga philosophy. They help you to contain your energy inside your body and also protect your lower back in some of the poses. Then set an intention for yourself, something you would like to focus on during today's yoga class. And then gently open the eyes. If you're sitting on a block, take it away. And let's start to connect movement to the breath. Make big circles with your arms like this. And then on your inhalation, your arms will be up. You open your chest and shoulders. And exhale, you bend forward a little bit. Nice big circles. Taking your time. And then the other side. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, down and again. Inhale. And exhale, last one. Inhale. And exhale. Then interlace your fingers behind your back. Bring your chest forward, shoulders back and down. And exhale, relax the shoulders. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Then bring your right hand to your opposite knee. I'll be your mirror image. Lengthen through the spine and rotate, looking away over your left shoulder. Stay there for two breaths. One. And two. And then on your inhalation, you turn forward and you do the other side. Hand on knee, lengthen. And from the navel upwards, rotate your body. Two breaths, one. And 
and two. Inhale, come forward, and then come on all fours. I'll show you from the side. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and then from here, place your right foot forward, and then start to make big circles with your right arm. Exhaling, turning the chest towards the floor, inhaling, opening the chest and face it up towards the ceiling. Your gaze is following your fingertips and feel how nicely and gently you can open the chest and shoulder here. Then you're gonna do it to the other side. So the right hand goes now on the inside of the right foot, knee and shoulder are together. You can also do it on your right fingertips. And then again, make big circles following the fingertips and slowly following the breath with your movement. Last circle. And down. And then from all fours with your right hand again, on your inhalation, bring it to the side. Oh, sorry, let's do that exhalation. Let's make this our inhalation. And then exhale, turn. Inhale, open, exhale, turn, last one, inhale, and exhale, that's it, back to all fours, now the left foot comes forward, you lift your left arm, and you start to make circles, make three big circles, inhale, top part, exhale, bottom part, Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then to the other side, left hand on the inside of the foot, knee and shoulder together, either on your hand or on your fingertips. And follow your fingertips with your breath, with your gaze and inhale and exhale. Last circle, inhale and exhale. Back on all fours, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Now with your left arm, go underneath and then from here, stretch out, reach to the side. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, last one. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale, back on all fours for downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, bring your hips to heels and come into your downward dog. Fingers widely spread, middle fingers facing forward, bringing your chest towards your big toe and gently walking your dog in the spot. Focusing on pressing from the bottom of your index finger and thumb. Lengthening your arms and your spine. And then slowly looking forward towards your hands, walking the feet forward. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, bring your arms down. Now we're going to start with sun salutations to continue our warm up. Send your feet together in front of the mat. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, slowly back forward. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, step or jump your feet back. You can choose, you can come down into cobra, arms by your chest, elbows by your side, or upward dog, and then exhale, pushing away from the floor through your hands and tightening your core muscles back into downward facing dog for five breaths. One. Two, three, four, 
And five. Look towards your hands. Jump or step in between. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, pressing the feet down in the floor, lengthening through your fingertips. And exhale, arms down. We do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale. Choose your option, cobra or, or dog. Inhale, and exhale. Five breaths. One, two, three, To watch your hands, jump or step in between. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, arms by your side. Again, interlace your fingers here like in the beginning. If you can't do that yet, grab your elbows. So either interlaced fingers or grabbing the elbows. Now inhale, lift your chest. Your feet are together and your legs are pressing together firmly. And then exhale, you can bow forward. And then on the inhalation, let's lengthen the spine, bend the knees, and then exhale, fold. Let's do that three times. Inhale, so you might also have your elbows. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Press the feet down in the floor. Lift your pelvic floor. Slowly come up. And exhale, release the arms. Now make shoulder rolls, inhale. And exhale, one more big shoulder roll. And exhale. I'll show you the next pose from this side. Keep your right foot in front, step your left foot behind and come into your warrior B pose. Your heels should be in one line. Right toes pointing forward to the short side of the mat, and the left foot is parallel with the short side of the mat. Then your shoulders are above your hips. And from here, we're gonna lengthen the side of our body, bring the elbow towards the knee. You could also bring the fingertips towards the floor, and then coming back up three times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we're going to come towards that pose and stay here. Now we're only going to move our left arm so you make big circles. Inhale, top of the circle. Exhale, chest towards floor, bottom part of the circle. Inhale, exhale. So notice how the upper body is turning and opening your chest and shoulder on your inhalation in the top part of the circle. And then come back to warrior B and slowly move to the other side. Now your left toes are pointing to the front of, well, actually the back of your mat, now the front. <laughs> and again, inhale, lengthen the side of your body all the way into your fingertips. Exhale, come back up. So your legs are firm, all your upper body is moving here. Last one, inhale, 
exhale. Now inhale, come here and exhale, start your circle. You can go both ways, whichever feels nicest for you. I'll try, see, this works just as well. Notice your upper body rotating, turning towards the ceiling on the two parts of the circle, and then come back into warrior B. Now, step your feet together on one side of your mat, and then from here, we're gonna go to warrior A. So let's step our left foot behind, the right foot stays in front. And if you look down, your heels could be on one line, but it's also fine if the left foot is a little bit wider so the feet are a bit distance apart. So you have a tiny bit more balance. The left foot is at the diagonal, so the left toes are pointing to the left corner of the top of your mat. Your chest, your hips are all aligned facing forward. And now from here, we're gonna interlace our fingers. If you can't do that yet, grab your elbows. Now inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, bow forward. And then again, inhale, slowly come up with your upper body, and exhale, bow forward. Two more. Inhale, press the feet down firmly in the floor while you're doing it. Your legs are strong, as if they're ripping your mat apart. And your upper body is fluid like your breath. Now stay here. Work towards pointing the crown of your head towards the floor. Lengthen your arms if you can interlace your fingers. And maybe bringing them a little bit away from your back. Breathe into your upper back. And keep your legs strong. One more deep breath here. And inhale. Slowly come up. And exhale. Set your hands and feet together. Two shoulder rolls. To open up and relax those shoulders. And now we're gonna do it on the other side. So now your right foot steps behind a warrior A position. Left knee above your ankle, chest forward. And then interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, slowly fold forward. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then let's stay here for three breaths, one, two, Three. Slowly come up, pressing the feet down, lifting the belt to the floor, and gently step your hands and feet together. Two shoulder rolls, one, and two. And then step one foot behind, turn to the side. We're gonna prepare for triangle pose. I'm gonna start on my right side, so my right foot opens up to the side, my feet are about a meter away from each other, it doesn't have to be very far for this pose. Bring your arms to the side, bring your left hip to the left and reach through your fingertips and then place your hand either on the shin of the foot or maybe you can place it on the outside of your foot on the mat. Now it's important that your upper body is not here. It has to be above that right leg. Also, you want to stack your hips on top of each other, your shoulders on top of each other. If you feel tension in your neck, you can look down 
forward or up. And then we're gonna make circles again because we're focusing on the shoulders today. So we do a lot of circles because that's a really nice way to open up your shoulder. One more circle. Now your top arm, so my left arm, you're gonna relax behind your back. So it looks like this, just hanging behind your back. And then we're gonna dip our shoulder. Maybe you can even grab the inside of the leg with your fingers. Then you're gonna dip your shoulder down and then you're gonna lift it up three times. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Now you're gently gonna bring your arm up and move to the other side. So right toes go in, left toes go out, or if you started on the other side, it's the other side. <laughs> Bring your hips to the side, stretch out through your fingertips, and place your hand on the shin or foot or outside foot on the floor. Your upper body is not here in front, it's above your left leg. And then rotate your arm, slowly following your breath. Inhale, top part. Exhale, bottom part. Two more. And of course, if you do it the other way, that's also fine. And then place your arm behind your back, let it rest. And dip your shoulder, exhale down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, up, gently bring your arm up and come up and then we are here. Now you can maybe open the legs a bit wider. If your arms are like this, your wrists should be about the ankles. That should be the right distance. We're gonna forward bend, and the first time we're gonna place our hands on our hips. So inhale, lift your chest, and then exhale, fold forward, keeping your elbows up to the sky. So active arms, roll the shoulders away from your ears, and make sure you are you're having your weight on the front and the back of the feet. So not only on the heels, also on the balls of the feet. One more deep breath here. Then press the feet down, lift your pelvic floor, and slowly come up. We do it again, and this time with our fingers interlaced behind our back or grabbing your elbows. If you can't interlace your fingers yet, inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, fold and release the arms. Let them relax. Slowly getting away from your back. So don't push it, breathe into your shoulders and let it arrive by itself. Three more breaths. One. Two. And three, press the feet down in the mud, tighten your core, slowly come up. And then two shoulder rolls, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And step your feet together in front of your mat. Vinyasa, inhale, bring your arms up, and exhale, slowly bow forward. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, jump or step your feet back. And choose cobra or upward dog. Inhale, roll your chest up. Exhale, downward dog. 
for three breaths. One, two, and three. And gently bring the knees down to the floor. And for the next pose, the puppy pose, you're gonna keep your hips above your knees and gently slide your hands forward. If your head gets in the way, you have to lift or turn it. If your head is not touching the floor yet, then it's bringing your forehead towards the floor. So wherever you are, Try to relax into the pose by really stretching out through your fingertips and bring the stretch in your upper back by lifting your pelvic floor muscles. One more deep breath. And then slowly, gently come on all fours. Now, I'll start with my left hand so it's easier to see for you. I'm going to bring my left hand underneath with my hand palm facing upwards. And then I'm going to gently lie down on the left shoulder. I'm going to turn my head a little bit more. And then I feel a, sh a shoulder stretch. So from my left shoulder down in a diagonal line over my back. You can let your hips go all the way to the side. You can also try and keep them above the knees. Feel what you can do with your body today. Two more breaths. One. And two. Slowly come up and move to the other side. Right hand underneath, from on your shoulder. Maybe roll the head a little bit towards the back of the head and stay here for three breaths. One. Two and three. Inhale, come up. And now we're gonna go towards dolphin pose. You can interlace your fingers here, and then you're gonna make sure you press your underarms in the floor firmly. So we're gonna work on shoulder strength and flexibility at the same time. From a downward dog position on your underarms, you're gonna lower the hips and then the shoulders actually get in front of the elbows and then lift the hips up. So keep pushing away from the floor five times. Here we go. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, and inhale. And then slowly come on your knees. And now choose a position for you to sit in for a couple of shoulder stretches. You could sit like this if you have a block or a bolster. You could also sit in this position while you Sit on the block, make sure that your toes are pointing back. If they're doing this, that's not good for your knee. If they're all, all the toes lying on the floor, pointing behind you, that is good. You could also sit like this, or like this, or any other way, which is comfortable for you. Okay, let's start with the first shoulder stretch. I'll try and do mirror image. So your right arm is stretching and then you pull it towards you so you feel this stretch here on the outside of your right arm so i'll do your mirror image three breaths one two and three then from here your right hand goes in between your shoulder blades and then you're going to pull on it with your other hand. So you don't pull your head, but you pull on your elbow. So you bring the stretch more into the shoulder than into the triceps. Then with your head, you can try and bring the arms back 
Now don't bring the chest forward, pull in those lower ribs so you have a long spine. Three breaths, one, two, and three. Then lengthen the arm and then bring the hand palms together like a Bollywood kind of dance. And then bring your arms behind you as much as you can. Again, don't bring your chest forwards and arch your back. Sit up tall, pulling those lower ribs. And then bring the stretch into your shoulders. Two more breaths. One. And two. Gently bring the arms down, one shoulder roll. And we go to the other side, your left arm, pull it towards you. You can play in the pose, bring it a bit, little bit lower or up. So you have the sweet spot of the stretch. Two more breaths, one. And two. And bring your left hand behind, be in between your shoulders. Then we pull on your elbow and bring your arms a little bit more behind you. Three breaths. One. Two. And three. Bring your arms up and palms together. And again, arms behind you as much as you can. Three breaths, one, two, and three. Now bring your arms down, let them rest on the floor. And then on your inhalation, lift your shoulders as much as you can. And then exhale, let them fall down. Relax. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Then come back on all fours. Let's do puppy pose one more time to see how much we relaxed in our shoulder girdle. Stretch out your arms in front of you. Keep your hips above the knees and gently bring your chest towards the floor. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. And slowly come lie on your belly. One more shoulder stretch. Find some room here. <laughs> Bring your arms out to the sides and your hand palm facing down on the floor. I'm going to turn to my right first so you can see it from that angle. So I'm going to rotate on my right side of my body. Place my left foot behind me on the floor. I'm using my left hand to push myself away from the floor. Three breaths. One, two, and three. And slowly move to the other side. Left arm stretched out to the side and rolling on your left side. And we stay here for three breaths. One, if you feel any tension in your shoulder, let it go on your exhalation. Two. And three. Slowly come on your belly. And then from here, come sit down and place your hands behind you. This is a chest and shoulder opener called Futanasana. You can do it like this with your hands behind you and opening the chest and shoulders here. You can also do it as a table, lifting the hips, or the most advanced 
option is relax straight. You can either let your head relax like this or keep your chin on your chest. Three more breaths. One. Choose your own option. This one is the most advanced. You don't have to do this. You can do the table or sitting down. Two. And three. Then gently bring your hips towards the floor. Flex your feet. Now make, up your, make sure you're sitting up tall. If you're more like this, you want to keep your hands behind you so you can push away from the floor and sit, sit up tall. If you don't have a, a round back like this, but it's straight, then you can slide forward because it's important you tilt in the pelvis when you come forward. Because if your back is like this, then it's no good for your lower back. Now make sure your feet are flexed. And on your inhalation, lengthen the spine again, just towards the toes, lengthen through the crown of your head. And exhale, find your way into Paschimottanasana. Forward bend. I'm going to count your breath. If you already want to in or exhale, and I'm not there yet with the counting, that's fine. Then you can already in or exhale. But as much as possible, try and follow my count. So first, exhale completely, empty your lungs. And then we'll start together. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale. Exhale. And come back to your natural breath. Slowly come up to sit. And then let's lie down for the relaxation part of the class. Shavasana. You have different options for this pose. If, for example, you have a little ache in your lower back, it might be nice to do it like this, with your feet on the floor and knees falling together. If you want to do an extra uh, pose like a hip opener. You could place the soles of the feet together and do this one. It might also be nice to have your legs up against the wall. Do an inversion. Or you can choose the traditional Shafasana pose like this, lying on your back, stretching on the legs. And just touch your Big toes together and out, rolling the legs in and out, and then let your toes fall to the sides, feeling how the hips are relaxed and wide on the floor. Then do the same with your arms. Roll the hand palms to the ceiling and hand palms down towards the floor. And then keep your hand palms up facing the ceiling. And then only lift your chest, bring the shoulder blades closer in together and lie down. So you're really lying on your full shoulder blades. Then rotate your head to one side to the other, back to center, chin on chest. And then relax your head on the floor. And now your neck and shoulders are also relaxed. Let your body relax more and more, becoming heavier and heavier. 
And it's time to relax your face, relax your jaws, relax your tongue in the back of your throat. Relax your eyes and eyelids. Relax your cheeks and your ears. Relax your forehead. And relax all the skin on your head. Now I will sit up so I can read a short story for you, but you can remain lying down. If you're not com comfortable with your eyes closed, you could also open your eyes and make a point on the ceiling and stare to the ceiling. Now your whole body is relaxed and you can start to focus on one thing. Let's choose the breath today. So practicing mindfulness, becoming an observer and noticing how the breath moves in and outside our body. Notice where you can feel the sensations of breathing in and out without changing it, only observing it. Visualize how the breath is moving in and out of your body. I'll let you practice this for the next minute and then my voice will return. Why not just live in the moment, especially if it has a good beat? Psychological studies show that people listen to music for two main reasons, to change our guide, to change or guide their moods and to heighten self-awareness. Hooray, that means music is a mindfulness tool. Music helps us experience our feelings in the now. It also helps us understand ourselves. It facilitates thoughts and feelings about who we are, who we would like to be, and how we might get from here to there. Listen to some music today that speaks to your soul. Also listen to some music that lifts your mood. Notice how both affect your mindfulness practice. Consider incorporating more music into your days. Now think to yourself, music helps me live in the moment. Gently bring your awareness <clears throat> to the room where you are. <coughs> <clears throat> Become aware of your body. 
if you like to lie down <clears throat> a little bit longer, please do. Otherwise, pretend you're waking up in the bed. Stretch out your arms. <clears throat> and then gently roll on one side of your body. Then slowly come to sit so we can end this class together with a bow. Come sit up, place your hands in front of your heart. <clears throat> and think one more time of the story about music. How it can help you increase your mood and self-awareness. And then slowly bow forward. and come back up. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again next time.